Hi everybody, today I'm going to tell you about two coding resources that we also list on our website that aren't Etsy Lab. So here we are on churchillcountylibrary.org in the classes button under learn to code online. Here's Etsy Labs, link for that is in the description if you're curious. So let's talk about this one, which is Codecademy. This is uh, a much more in-depth, more adult, older kids, teenagers uh, level. This teaches the kind of coding you would do in real life. And you can pick out what you're looking for, what, what language and what concepts you want to learn from the catalog. Many of these are paywalled, um, so all of the ones that are sort of career path oriented and cherry picked in that way are, are the, it's called pro, are the paywalled kind. But there's lots for the basic languages that isn't. So let's say we want to do HTML. So we'll skip past skill paths because that's a pro thing and we'll do introduction. Push the button. Okay, so all of these work the same way. There's instructions over here, there's something happening over here. Oops. Then you'll follow the instructions over here, so we're looking at the diagram. And then when we're ready, we'll hit next down at the bottom. And then once we're into the part where we're doing it ourselves, there'll be instructions where we do the coding and then where it shows us the results. So I'm going to add a body to our web page. And the cool thing about this little editor is when you have a bracket without a closed bracket, it will tell you. So you'll do your task, then you'll hit run, and it shows you what happens over here. So that's how Codecademy works. There's lots of stuff in here. There's really basic stuff. There's really complicated stuff. Um, this is really great if you have an older kid who's getting really interested in computer science, um, or you yourself are really interested in computer science and would just sort of like to explore more. So this is, this is big boy coding resources. Now let's talk about code.org dance party. Okay, so dance party, this is where if you have little kids, you're just trying to sort of spark curiosity, you just need something for them to do that's educational, this is where you want to be. So we'll push on start on dance party. And this uses block coding, which is a teaching method, I believe they started doing it at MIT, um, where you don't have to type, which is a huge benefit for especially smaller kids. So I don't usually watch the videos, they're not very helpful, but you can. So you'll plug the kid age in below, Let's say we're five, okay, and then instructions are up here. So we snap the blocks together to make something happen. So we'll make a new cat at center, and we can change the song. And when we hit run, something happens. And then we step through each of the steps. You know, as it gets more complex, we can do more different dance moves, stuff like that. And it takes you through each thing step by step, like this. And then you can build your own sort of free form at the end if you're still having fun. So this is great for younger kids just reading. Um, we did this with first and second graders yeah, at library after school workshops, and it was a great success. They have a great time picking out the song in particular. So this is worth a try if you're looking for a coding activity to do with your kids or for younger kids to do on their own. So those are our other two coding resources listed on our website. Any questions, send me an email, send us a message, and we'd be glad to hear from you.